Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl. And there's this pretty crazy stat how mobile usage, whether that's on a phone or say tablet, is outpacing both the desktop and laptop game. And as we're all working from home now, the big question is, can you get by solely on a mobile device as people are leaving, say, their desktop laptops at work? I know a lot of students, kids, are looking solely for, say, a tablet as their only device that they need. So Samsung kind of challenged me to this, and I've partnered with them to showcase their DeX experience, which is essentially a desktop-like experience with their mobile devices. So what we've got in front of me, the Tab S7 Plus, in my opinion anyways, the best Android tablet that you can currently get, and it doesn't even come close. It's got a 12.4 inch Super AMOLED display, the latest silicon on the inside. It's an absolute beast. Yes, the price matches the beastliness, but for the money, it's the best Android experience that you can get on a tablet. Smartphone wise, I'm rocking the S21 Ultra and it kind of follows the same DNA as the Tab S7 Plus. It is on the pricier end, probably one of the pricier Android devices, but the best experience that you can get. The build is kind of top notch. This matte black finish all around, I'm absolutely in love with it. I know it's been out now for the past several months, but since day one, it hasn't really missed a beat. And the silver lining, if anything, it has come down in price. There's sales all the time, so make sure you do check before you end up grabbing it. On to dex mode though. So typically dex mode has been available on most mobile or, or their higher end devices, like for example, their S series phones. But I've always felt that dex has been missing something until now. You've always had to connect it to say, an external screen to take advantage of a larger screen real estate, connect an external Bluetooth mouse slash keyboard. Now with the introduction of the Tab S7 with, of course, the keyboard case, which I've got, I think they kind of have solved all of those issues. So this is an extra little addition. It kind of comes in two different pieces. So the back just kind of snaps on like so. And there's actually this really nifty spot for where the pen charges up top because it typically fits on the back of the tablet. It's got this little built-in cutout, so that fits perfectly. And of course, for any keyboard case combo, it snaps to the bottom and it does have this little flap on the end to kind of make it a little kickstand and now you've pretty much got a laptop form factor, of course, with the tab inside. Once that's connected, you're still in a very traditional mobile or tablet OS, swiping up to get to say the app drawer, using your finger a lot to navigate and to get to all of the different apps. But to launch Dex, it's pretty simple. So you can either swipe down on the menu system and you can see Dex mode, or you've got the keyboard shortcut by just holding down function and hitting the DeX button up top. You can see Samsung DeX will launch and all of a sudden your desktop experience or the view on your tablet is more traditional now to say a PC. The apps are more rearranged like icons now. You've got the toolbar at the bottom. You can see some of the apps that I kind of access the most. You've got the notification tray on the bottom, of course, showing you all the important things like Wi-Fi connection, battery life, and of course, if you have any notifications. And this dex mode now with the full keyboard and trackpad combo is just so much more productive now. In one place, we're taking advantage of a larger display and my workflow, maybe other than video editing, all of this stuff that I do here is actually very similar to what most people do day to day. So typically in the morning, I kind of kick off my day with emails, kind of who doesn't do that. I can size this, position it where I want on my display. That's something that is still tough to do on say just a mobile device only. I know it's easy to fire off emails off say your phone, but when you want to get super productive and you get 50 to 60 emails a day and you got to respond to them quicker, I think having the full keyboard combo is just a lot faster than typing anything out on your phone. So you can see that I've got my email client kind of scaled to around three quarters the size of the display. The nice thing, Dex will remember how large you launch your apps. And that's because I like to do a bit of multitasking when I do my emails. I also launch a bit of YouTube. So if we can go over there. So boom, we've got that launched. And the third app that I always have off to the side is my Twitter feed. So I'm kind of scrolling through Twitter to see what's new for the day. I always have a StarCraft II video playing in the bottom corner. I'm an OG StarCraft player. Used to play it a lot when I was in school. Have dabbled with SC2, not that good in Diamond League, but I like to watch some of the pros play. So that's kind of my productivity setup for the morning. Emailing takes me around an hour and a half to two hours in the morning. And it's just way quicker to get through all of my emails like this, even if I am quickly glancing over at what's going on in SC2, I can just get by way quicker than solely on, say, a mobile device like my phone. 
Another great use for decks that I found is how it kind of fits in perfectly with my photo editing workflow. So once again, I'm still able to multitask and watch content on the side, whether it's sports or even just some more YouTube stuff. So you can see that I've got Lightroom launched and I'm editing a photo of my Taycan that I took the other week. And this is actually one of the few times that I use the S Pen because my artsy skills aren't that good, but using this to kind of manually adjust all of the sliders makes it a lot easier than using my clunky finger. So all the photos that you guys have seen on Instagram for the past two to three Three weeks have been edited in this workflow. It's efficient. It's great because I can still be quote unquote productive and still watch any other content I want on the side. And I'm curious if any of you have a similar workflow, what kind of content do you guys consume? For students, Dex has just made that experience so much better with this combo. So if you guys are doing a ton of word processing, of course, you've got the likes of say Microsoft Word on this. It's pretty much the exact same as a laptop experience. The keyboard combo works great. And the best part, you can always detach once you're done in dex mode. So say I hit function, dex off. This will now shut off. I'm back to a tablet mode and I can detach it from this little combo. And now you can use your tablet as of course, a standalone tablet. Use it for all the great things tablets are good for. A lot of media consumption. And the last thing that I wanna talk about before we wrap up is gaming, which I think is a huge component of any mobile experience. A lot of us are shifting away from a traditional console or a PC and playing way more games on a mobile device. Graphic performance in the past couple of years has just gotten so much better on mobile devices. You're talking to someone who grew up using a Game Boy, which was larger than this, but this can now play pretty much triple A titles like you'd find on say a dedicated console, which is kind of mind blowing. The cool thing about Dex, you can play any game say that I've got on my S21 Ultra on an external monitor. So you can get that gaming experience, all the power from your phone on a larger screen and all you need is a USB-C cable. And now you can pretty much rock a console quality gaming setup with a larger display. You can play triple A titles and you can even pair it with a gaming controller via Bluetooth. I'm getting a full console experience with a mobile device. So I think Dex has been super cool. It's really improved a lot over the past year to two. I think 90 to 95% of us can get by our workflow, our day-to-day -day life using either say the phone or their tablet. One thing that I did kind of struggle with was video editing. Even if you're on Premiere, I still think video editing is one of the few things that's still really tough to do in the mobile space. But if you guys have any other app suggestions that I could take a look at, let me know down below in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Dex demo. And yeah, it probably is possible to get by in the mobile world. Curious if any of you have made the full switch and if you no longer rock a laptop or desktop, let me know and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.